me such a good filler patient. I have my pineapple. I haven't been drinking. I'm trying to be a good example for the world. Good place with this. Well, speak of the devil. I was just recording a little uh, pre office visit. I'll bring out the drinks after, are we? Uh, I can't drink alcohol after because I'm gonna be such a good filler patient. Hello my beautiful loves. You have found the perfect video. If you're someone who is really scared of lip filler, you don't want to look crazy. Someone who's had a bad experience with lip filler. Maybe they've been too big. Maybe you had a crazy bruise. Just anyone who wants a subtle, beautiful lip that's just a little plump, maybe a little bit more even. I have all the tips for you. So let me just give you a little backstory on me and my lip filler. So I am a registered nurse. I used to be an injector before I delved into the world of Instagram and educating about skincare online. So I don't work in that field anymore, but I know a lot about it and I'm really particular about my lip filler. There's do's, there's don'ts, there's all the things and I want to teach you exactly what to ask for, how to do it, the whole shebang. So first step before you have your appointment, you want to find someone great. If you're in California, go to my girl, Allie B. Beauty. She is an artiste. Do you wanna find someone who this is their craft? You've seen their before and after pictures on Instagram. You have a best friend who has beautiful lips. You've seen them, you made an appointment. So you want either lips that you've seen or really great before and afters on Instagram that you can trust. Go in for a consult if you want, if that makes you feel better. Just make sure you're with someone who is this is their primary thing, not just someone who like does butt implants and they're doing lips on the side. So first tip. Second tip is pre-treatment lip care. So there's a few things you wanna do before you're gonna get your lip filler. I would say seven days before, you wanna stop drinking alcohol, you wanna stop taking blood thinning medications, you want to stop anything that's gonna make you bruise because a bruise on your lip is really hard to cover and it's not fun. You're gonna have a little bit of swelling anyways, that's totally normal, so you don't wanna amplify it by having a big swollen bruise on your face. Brings me to a, another suggestion for pre-treatment and that is things like pineapple. Pineapple has bromelain, which is an enzyme that helps your clotting factors and it can actually help prevent bruising if you take it in advance. So I have my little smoothie here. It has pineapple in it, pineapple greens, it's Fejo. I'm loving this thing. So if you want to try this, I've got a discount for you below, obviously. If your lips are sunburned, if they've had trauma, if you have cold sores, anything like that, you're going to want to reschedule your appointment. You don't want to put trauma on top of trauma. Not that it really matters what your lips look like anyways, because all we're doing is this. But I'm masking up. I'm gonna head into Ellie's office. It is a very safe and controlled environment. We're gonna live our best life. We're gonna look stunning, beautiful, everything. Okay, let's do it. So here we are in Ellie's office. And if you're interested in Botox, we did a video on Botox. So I'm gonna put that right above so you can check that out. But now we're starting with lip filler. And I've already been clapping so much in this video. So I guess we're really on one with this. I'm getting my lips done for probably what, like three, four, three, four years? years now. Yeah. And I used to do them myself, which is the worst idea ever. Obviously, like I said before, I'm a nurse, but Ellie is way better than I was. And what she does for my lips is she's gonna plump them up a little bit, but it's more about like fixing asymmetries and making my lips look a little bit more youthful because as we age we start to lose volume and my lips were never quite as big as I wanted them to begin with so she's gonna do some really cool techniques to kind of lift definitely want to make sure you find a provider who will look at your individual lips and just identify what you want you need to talk about it make sure you're on the same page do you have any more tips for people who want something natural and maybe they're like first timers? So I recommend bringing in a picture of what you want. Like try and find something that's similar to your lip shape. Please don't bring me a picture of Kylie Jenner if you don't have big lips already. I won't do it. <laughs> She's very I'm conservative, which is another reason. Like if you're clicking on this video, yeah. it's because you want more of, more of a natural lip. So she's a perfect person. Yeah, to do I will make your lips big if you have already naturally full lips. But if you don't, I can get them bigger, but I'm not gonna make you have more volume from the profile. It's just not natural looking. Mm -hmm. But if you look from Celeste from the side, she's got really beautiful profile line. Her lips not is not sticking out a lot, which is what we're going for. We just want to add a little bit of height. And so for her, we're going to use something called Restylin Define. Um, there is a new product out called Restylin Kiss. We talked about using it, but I still think the Define is the best for her because it's going to give her a little more structural support because she does have 
a little bit of asymmetry on her right side. So we're going to use a little bit of define because it provides the most structure. So it's going to give her more of a lift capacity without adding too much volume. Yeah, and most people do have asymmetries in their lips and mm -hmm. want someone who's going to actually inject them to make them look more even with the result than what you had before. Yes. So I'm very excited. She's going to numb me up and I did get a lot of questions about pain. I'm not going to lie, it hurts. It but. does. And it's, it's worth it and it's fine. <laughs> But I will say, like, if you've had Botox before and you're like, oh, it's just a pinprint. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different, but she's, um, she is going to numb me, which is going to help with any pain or something. And then if you're really worried about pain and you really don't want to tolerate it, we can do a dental block, which is where we go inside of the mouth and we shoot little, uh, a little bit of lidocaine into the gums. It's kind of like when you go to the dentist and they numb you, not quite as numb, but it'll numb this whole center part so you won't feel as much. So depending on your level of pain management, it will, you know, you can do that too. But she's pretty tough, so we just kind of put the so top tough. on. <laughs> just give it to me. Any pain for beauty, I'm totally in. Mm -hmm. So filler, usually the first time you do it, lasts anywhere from three to six months. I guess everybody's different, but I would say on average three to six. If you're working on getting a lot more volume in your lip, I would suggest coming back in three months and we can add more filler to your lip. Um, once you've been doing your lips about, I would say three to four times, they can stay in there for, it can stay in there for a year, year and a half. Like I haven't touched my lips in two years and I still have lip filler. Yeah. So just because it's been six months or a year, you don't have to keep doing your lips because that's where you get into these issues with overfilling and causing like protrusion and you know, we became duck, duck. kind of almost like body dysmorph, lip dysmorphia essentially, mm -hmm. where you think you need it, but you really don't. You want to stop before you get to that point. You want so it. You want it to look like you have beautiful lips, but not to look like you just have lip mm -hmm. filler. Because then, what's the point? So I would say doing them maybe three times the first year, two to three times, mm -hmm. on average is pretty normal. And usually after the third time, it will stick around longer. So it's an initial investment. Mm -hmm. But once you get past that third time, you just come in for a touch up, and you're usually good to go for a year or so. Okay, see. so I'm going to numb up and then we will start yes. injecting. Celeste has a little bit of nerve damage just from a childhood injury, so this side of her mouth doesn't lift up as easily. So we try to, with a little bit of Botox as well, do a lip flip here as well as put a little more filler on the side to try and give her this look. Um, ever so subtle. The side's always going to be a little smaller, that's normal, but we're going to try and even out her asymmetries a little bit. Um, and then we'll put a little in this little spot at the bottom, kind of where the border is at at the bottom. And then maybe a little on her bottom, but we usually do the top first to see how it looks. And then I'll show her and see if she is cool with that, if she wants more. Kind of work together to see like, what's the best option for her. Okay, you ready? Thanks, Mom. Yeah. What we're doing right now is creating little Threads, kind of like little poles to lift up the lip a little bit. These are teeny tiny little threads. We tried to lift that side up a little bit by like giving her a little bolus there to pop it. I was hoping you'd do that. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> she also has a scar right here. So I'm she right got all there. the things. <laughs> I'm a trouble patient. So we just, this is affecting her. It's actually pulling her up her lip up a little bit on this side. So on this side, we actually did probably double the product on this side. It's a little swollen right now, but just to match it up with that side. So we don't always do it evenly, but I give her a little here to just blend it out. So. It's really important to like have people animate when we do lips because your lips might look really good when you're not moving, but when you move, we need to see how it looks too. So that's really important. Smile, relax, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks yeah. so much better. It's amazing.
amazing the kind of volume you'll get mm -hmm. just from doing that technique. It's like my yeah. whole face change. Yeah. I love it. How do people know like what product to use? I usually have them kind of bring a picture of their lips. Mm -hmm. I ask them how much, you know, how much volume do you want? And then we kind of decide what product we want to use from there. Mm -hmm. um, something a little thicker we can use is the one we used on you, but it still looks super natural. It's just to augment a little more. Mm -hmm. Um, I find that one to be the nicest. I love ultra on really big lips, like naturally big lips. Mm -hmm. I love ultra is my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, but it really is just dependent on the person. So it's good to do a consult or to see your provider first. Don't like you don't have to get stuck on just one certain product. Mm -hmm. Like different products look different on different people. So yep. it's all individual, yeah. and you should find yeah. someone who understands that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay! Oh I love them. We'll see what they look like when the swelling goes down and they look perfect ready. Go. Instead of just showing you the results, I thought I would show you the process of healing so you can get a feel for what it's going to be like if you do get your lips filled. So this is after day one. I have a little bit of bruising and swelling. That's totally normal for me. It doesn't happen to everyone, but I always get a little bit of bruising. And all I'm doing is icing for 15 minutes, like three or four times during the day. And I just continue doing this until all the swelling goes down. I need to get real up close and personal for the final check. I got my lips done on Monday. It is a Friday, so it's been plenty of days. The redness, inflammation, bruising, all of that has almost gone completely down, and I am so incredibly happy with the results. Let me give you a little. So, so good. So thank you again, Allie. If you're in Los Angeles and looking for a doctor or a nurse, I definitely, definitely suggest going to Allison. I'm so, so happy with the results and she is just a gem. She's an artist and I felt so, so safe in her hands. And if you have any more specific questions about lip filler or dermal filler in general, leave them in the comments below and I'm happy to get back to every single one of them. I love answering your questions. And I just really appreciate you coming on this lip filler journey with me. I'm just so appreciative for every subscription, every like, every comment, every way that you engage with me. It just makes me feel like we're just one big happy family. So I'm so, so appreciative. And I hope to see you around for next week's video. So see you Tuesday. Mwah.